Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's mm. your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with this week's Queen Sugar, season yeah. six, episode six, or maybe just stay there. Yeah. I'm pleasantly surprised that I was glued this entire episode. Yeah, this was a really, really good episode, yeah. It was a lot to unpack, so we're yeah. going to unpack it, and then we're going to go to bed because we're tired around here. So let's go ahead and start off with Charlie... Nova and Unfire, they're having a day spa in or an at-home Manny petty session with each other. Having a good old time. And they're teasing her about how many times she brings up uh, Davis, Davis. Davis East, East. name yeah. <laughs> in one sitting session. And they were like, this is kind of like before. Four or even worse than when y'all yeah. first got together. They said, matter of like, fact, you just, you sprung. That's you that's real sprung. Yeah. So they're doing what they got to do. And I'm sitting there the whole time looking like, y'all over there got fingernail polish and remove on that good couch. Charlie said she ain't like that. Charlie said, I'm bougie, but I ain't I ain't that bougie. Different yeah, yeah. tactics. Hey, you, can, you can eat in my living room. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and do that. But she gets a text message or a call on her phone or something like that. Was it a text message? I think it was a text. Something came over the It phone. was a text, yeah. And she had to hurry up and run out. And I said, well, hold on. What you're not going to do is just run out and we don't ask you no questions. Yeah, you like, shock, where you going? Yeah, you like, that shock look on your face. What? Yeah. And I said, if Davis West don't pulled up and said, meet me round back real quick, uh -huh. I said, that would be explainable. Yep. But no, she ended up down there having a meeting with old boy. Because he's like, hey, we saw that interview you had with um, Gail King and whatnot. Um, and we've decided as a board, we don't want you to run for state senator no more. We don't want you. Yeah. We don't want you. Charlie was like, wait a minute. Charlie said, hold on. Because I, I got confused because he, he was like, your Gail King thing did better than we expected. And I said, But so, you fired. Like, yeah. And I said, well, hold on. First of all, why you call her down there? Right. You could have told taken... that. Yeah. <laughs> Over the phone. So Charlie did what Charlie does. She began to read him for Phil. She said, mm. wait a minute. So what is this talk about how you want women to be progressive and not be in this bubble of what you think we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to say, and how our lives are supposed to look? And the moment I step outside of that little box, then all of a sudden... You don't want me anymore, but I'm going to do... He was like, hold on, pumpkin spice. <laughs> Say, pump your brakes. <laughs> pump them. <laughs> what we do want you to do is we want you to run for Congress. Hell I said, yeah. Congresswoman got done. Charlie Bartolome. West. Hey? We're going to put the West back on it. No, nah, it's East. East. No more West. I said, oh, Okay. So let's go ahead and switch gears a little bit. Like I said, there was a lot that was going on. So let's talk about Hollywood. So you know Hollywood and Gabriel got their own thing going on. Yeah, so I'm he, loving their relationship though. I that, am yeah. too. Yeah. So he has Gabriel at the barber shop and whatnot, and you know he's letting Gabriel pick out what kind of haircut he wants, and he said he want a buzz. Cut. I want a buzz cut. <laughs> so somebody, so the barber was like, so you want to look like a cop? <laughs> And so Hollywood was like, if that's what you want to look like to be fresh, own I mean, that jank. I mean, that was, but, you know, for the family that's over on Life with a TV, y'all know, you know, I look like a cop with them glasses. <laughs> All they needed was your Inside glasses. joke for them, yeah. <laughs> y'all ain't know what on the vlog channel, inside joke. I got some glasses. They make me look like a cop. They right there. Yeah. You should put them on. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so the barber looks at Hollywood and was like, since we on the subject of cops, had a cop come by here earlier that wanted to holler at Ralph Angel because something about Theo and the stuff that he got going on. But he also said that he going to come back around here a little later and holler at you. I said, well, how the hell did Hollywood get in this? Yeah, how his name come up. But you know you know how it go when you when you deal with black folk. Boy, they they want to call everybody name. You ain't had nothing to do with that skit. But they still gonna call your name, be like, who was down yeah. there? Yeah, you know, Lynette, Lynette was down there. Stanley. Tony was down there. <laughs> <laughs> William was down there. You <laughs> drove that blue car yeah. up there. Mm -hmm. So, long story short, Hollywood got on the phone with Ralph Angel. Ralph Angel and Dollar ended up going to that bed and breakfast 
real nice spot. I said, I look like a no, real resort, resort resort. Yeah. He telling um telling Dolly, you out here looking so good, you out here looking like Riri out here and whatnot. So gets Ralph Angel on the phone. And Hollywood was like, listen, bro, I need I need to ask some questions and I need some answers. Police came around the barbershop looking for you about some skit about Theo. Theo locked up. So is there anything that you need to tell me? Because yeah. from what I'm hearing is that Theo said that he was over there at my spot with you, you. when he wasn't there. So how did you get me all mixed <clears throat> up in this? Yeah. And then first and foremost, foremost <laughs> if any of this skit come back, are you going to be in it? Yeah. Is it going to blow back on you? Because he said, because what you're not going to do is have me wrapped up in this stuff and have me lying for yeah. that dude that I don't even, even know. know. And I messing said, up, messing up my, my new spot. I said, that's that's it. Yep. I'm like, oh my God. So that's how Hollywood got up in it. Because they were using his spot as an alibi. So the first time that that joker came up and through there, that, he was familiarizing himself yeah. with being there so people can say, oh yeah, he don't be yeah, by here here. Yeah, he was, yeah. Because you might not remember the exact date, but yeah, he was here around, you know, some some way uh, last week, I around see. Friday or Saturday. No, I know, I know. <laughs> so this is not where it ends with Hollywood and the BS. Like this, at real talk. It gets worse. It gets real talk, worse. This episode was skit on Hollywood night. So Hollywood has to take Gabriel back <clears throat> to the motel to take him back to his mom. Rule number one around here and who and how we work when we talk about female and male relationships. Don't I'll ever is, let yeah. your good works be evilly spoken of. Yeah, I, Hollywood, yeah. you should always take a female with you when you yeah, drop it off that boy. Yeah, I was wondering why Vi wouldn't with him, but you know, yeah, I, I thought the same thing. It yeah. ain't a thing about mis distrust because that could have got muddy really, really quickly. Right. It's it her did. word against your word. Yeah. So he's dropping little um gabriel off and you know little gabriel wish you you know he loves hollywood like hollywood is that light that he needs right now and you know he pretty much gave him his hug and his goodbyes thank you mr hollywood and he goes on upstairs to his room he said i'm fresh <laughs> <laughs> so celeste was like you know it's it's so good to have my son have a smile on his face he hasn't had a good man in his life for a very long time and used that good man <laughs> and I wish I had a good man too. And I was like, like, don't do it. We knew this was coming. Don't do it. We you got, knew it was coming. Like you got a good thing going here. You so, being blessed by the Lord right now. You about to get blessed by these hands. Uh -huh. <laughs> so then um, Hollywood was like, but you do have a good person in your life. And that's Violet. Violet. That girl loves you. She is in your corner. Like she's really supporting you. So he went, and I said, okay, Hollywood, you already know where she tried to go. Why you give her that hug? So he gave her a hug goodbye before she could go upstairs with her son, and she leans in and tries to kiss him on the lips. Mm -hmm. And he did that, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I love me some Hollywood, because mm -hmm. that's a man's man. Yeah, he was like, wait a minute. Why do you even try to play me like yeah, that? Like, after all that buy them did from you, this is how you repay her? And that's when I started thinking, like, hey, she was coming behind his back. To make sure that you was good. You could have messed up his yeah, household. Yeah, protect, mess, yeah. And, yeah. He read her down. It's like, you got a good person that love you, that took care of you, don't bent over backwards for you. And this is what you do to her? What is wrong with you? Like, you try to come on to me, of all people? Yeah. So then she runs her tail upstairs. I said, run. Run, run, run. <laughs> run, run, run. So Hollywood gets home, and he's sitting there in his living room, and I was saying to myself, tell it. Even if it, <laughs> even if it goes left, tell, tell it. it. Because yeah. it's better if you tell it. Because she, she tell it, tell yeah, it and she, twist it. Yeah, yeah. So he's sitting there and she and he was like, Vi, I got to tell you something. But the look on his face was almost like somebody had died. She was like, Hollywood, you were scaring me. me spit it like, out. What's going on? And he was like, I don't even know. How to say it. How to say <laughs> some mess like this to you. But Celeste tried, what's her name, Celeste or Celine? Celine, Celine. Celine. Celine tried to kiss me. And she was like, Wait, what? what? Hold she, on. like she wanted to say, this bitch? You never <laughs> Why would she do something? And then Vi does what Vi does. Hold on. Well, how did she get close enough to you to try to kiss I was like, don't you do that, Vi. Like, don't do it. You, he ain't even had to tell you. 
Hollywood said, ho, 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 yeah, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. What we not going to do is this. Yeah. I only got a sweet tooth for one type of dessert, and that's and you, he, baby. And that's yo. Uh-uh. We, we not doing this no, he right He said, here. that's your and skit. That, that's your skit. I was yeah. like, y'all nasty. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> So she was like, you know what, Hollywood, I mean, um, yeah, Hollywood, get that pie. We need to stop by um, Prosper's. But before, we need to make another stop. I said, oh. So um, whoop that trick. Get them. Whoop uh, that trick. Hollywood got a nice truck. I love that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that shit was nice. So they stopped by the motel. I'm going to just go ahead and get it all out the way. So they stopped by the motel, and Celine is nowhere to be found. She on the run. One of the guys out there was like, she packed up her stuff in a hurry and she gone. So Unvi was like, she doesn't have a lot of money. Like she doesn't have access to her credit cards because the moment mm -hmm. she swipes that, her yeah. husband is going to mm -hmm. know where she yeah. is. Yep. So she's more concerned. First, let's make sure this girl is safe. Second, then I'm going to put my hands on her. <laughs> but where is she? Like I said, oh, she just probably changed rooms because she knew you was coming. Mm -hmm. Right. And like you said, I do feel bad that this very possibly messed up the relationship with Hollywood and Gabriel. And like, how are you? How is she yeah. gonna explain that? That, that, I, that saying, I bucked that up. And she can't tell him what she did. Yeah. So it's now it's make Hollywood look like he just stopped coming by. Cause that's pretty oh, much what's gonna have to happen. The only way I can see it really working from this point, if God, if Vi wants to continue to have a relationship with her, is she go and pick him up and bring him to Hollywood. I don't know. Yeah, that's the only way I can see it, man. So the next stop for Hollywood and Unvice, see, they on tour now. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they stopping by everybody's house. So the next stop is they got to go by um, Mr. Prosper's house. Well, earlier in the episode, Mr. Prosper was having his um, physical therapy with old Nurse Bay. Uh-huh. He over there showing off with uh, the weights, with the just, doing, just doing the most. <laughs> yeah. And she over there hyping yeah. him up, and he over there just uh -huh. grinning and whatnot. And him and Billy's relationship seem to have taken this beautiful turn of understanding, love, and building their um, father and daughter relationship. Mm -hmm. So she said, you know what, Dad? I'm going to go into town. You know, you need anything. And um, and she said, you know what? Better yet, I'm going to stop by and get some Italian. And we're going to just have us a good old feast tonight. Does that sound good? He was like, you know what? That sounds really good. So peep that. So now Hollywood and Unvi are on the way to Mr. Prosper's house because Mr. Prosper never let Unvi know that, hey, me and my daughter got uh, something they, going yeah. on over here. So don't don't come through right now. You know, maybe come through tomorrow with the pie because you know that's <laughs> what I do. I love my pie. So Unvi and Hollywood pops up on the scene and immediately Billy's face cracked because yeah. her and her dad was having a they great were good. time. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Food was good. They were almost that time to get dessert. And uh, Mr. Prosper said, hold on. I know mm -hmm. what we need right here. We need some wine. Yeah. <laughs> so when it was time for him to go get the wine out the cabinet, that's when our vice showed up with the pie. And like I said, Billy's face just went from... To mm -hmm. Bam. So now we're in this, this space again where she feels like she has to compete against the borderline for her father's attention and his love. So, Mr. Prosper is not catching on to none of this. I'm mm -hmm. like, look at your daughter's face. She mm -hmm. is disappointed right now. And he was like, yeah, y'all yeah, we in. good. We family. We, we, we can eat in. cake together. Eat this pie. Uh, yeah. We, eat, <laughs> we ain't doing the term of soup no more. It's, the, it's time it's the for pie. the pie. Say more, so, more insult to injury. <laughs> yeah, so Bob was like, hey, Billy, how are you? And I was like, uh -huh. here we go. So, when Mr. Prosper was like, you know what? They can stay. So, Billy was like, no. Y'all can stay. I'll do something else. And Mr. Pops was like, they're just as much family as you are. Billy said, family who? Yeah. That's not my family. She ain't none, none of my family. family. So here come Violet getting up in her feelings. Family? We want to talk about family when you didn't respect mine, I, when you didn't respect yeah. my marriage? Hollywood said, hold on. Ho, 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 ain't ho. nothing going on between me, me and Billy. And Billy. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, no, not you, the other husband. All the husband. <laughs> and he was like, so this is when Billy had her release moment where she was able to let it all out. She was like, hold on, hold on. Did you ever think about what was really going on here? 
I know you were wrapped up in the fact that you felt like your husband was cheating mm -hmm. on you with me, but did you ever think about mm -hmm. me as a young girl, what was really We're going, going on, on, that yeah. this man tried to push himself on me, and when I fought, my, fought him off of me, he lied and told everybody how good my stuff was. Everybody ran with it, and instead of the, the parents the adults and the in adults my, in yeah. my life to come to my rescue and to really vet this information out, y'all went with it. And y'all ran with it, and nobody protected me. Mr. Prosper's face is over there, just done. Done, yeah. Bye. Because I forgot that was that was um, kind of new news for him too. His first time he yeah, heard, he heard it spelled it. out yeah, like that. Yeah. Because she told um, Ernest. Yeah. So, but I but uh, I wonder, like at that time, was Bye and Jimmy Dale doing good? Because she talked like their whole marriage was just fucked up. Like, he just wouldn't. Yeah. He just couldn't get it right to save his life. So, for her to believe him. What was what, 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 what made Yeah, what made her believe him? Seeing that, that how evil and how she don't want to be done. Done nothing to do with him no more. Yeah. So, so I, I, I don't know. But I'm glad Billy got off her chest, though. She got it all the way off her chest. Because that's what's wrong with a lot of us now. We holding on to some some baggage that's freaking killing us, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what she did? She, Billy took it down to the, the bar. bar. Uh-huh. And she down there with a purse back to you on the, on the chair. I said, baby, you about to get got. I don't think she even care. While you drinking that brown, somebody about to run your credit card down to the ground. <laughs> so... And we see Charlie comes in. Charlie is the super saver hoe for all situations. Yep. Except for the one we're going to talk about in a few minutes. So, Charlie comes in, and I knew that somebody had sent her. So, she sits down beside Billy, and she was like, hmm, drowning your sorrows away, huh? Been there, done that. Uh-huh. And pretty much, Charlie gave her that speech about fighting through your pain, your hurt, your disappointments. And how sometimes you just got to own what is going on in your life. And don't right. worry about the situations around you. Right. Or whether they're ready to move on. Whether they're ready to face the music. You just make sure that you're ready to face the music. And how it plays out, it just plays out. And she can really relate to that with yeah. Billy. Because they're <clears throat> kind of like the kind of the same person. Like They have like that same structure and dynamic. Very super successful women. They had to leave a bad situation. And make know, the best out of it. The best and then they yeah. always are called on to be the super savers of mm -hmm. it all. But nobody wants to deal with their trauma as well. Right. So, and then she even talked about that, like, moving and working in your own pain, and your own hurt. And Charlie was like, yeah, I did what you used to do. Try mm -hmm. to drink it away. Mm -hmm. Yep. That don't work either. And even, um, and Billy was like, you know... This drink that I'm drinking now, I hate it. It just tastes like sorrow and regret. Yeah. And but she said I tried to like it because it's my it dad's favorite, favorite drink. And I was like, she is still trying to seek some type of love and attention and acceptance from her father. That's but hopefully, crazy to me. but hopefully that him knowing now that that will definitely turn a lot of stuff around. And now he can be able to know why she been why she just disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. And and how some things back then, mm -hmm. now they're adding up. Right. But so, but you know, we thought that maybe the reason why what that conversation with him and Ralph Angel like he was like you'd be a better father than I was. Yeah. So obviously there must be something else because we actually thought it was that, but he seemed like he was sho he was shocked by that news. So what else? Or did maybe he, he not didn't know it to that magnitude. I don't know. Like what? Yeah. What else did he? You know. Yeah, to say that he wasn't, I mean, you know when you ain't there for somebody, but I yeah. thought it was that. Yeah, I can't wait till we get to more of this story and this dynamic. Yeah. So let's go over here and talk <clears throat> about, nope, we're going to leave Nova for the, for the end. <laughs> so Ralph Angel, now that he's got this information from Hollywood, you know how somebody tell you something and that's all you can replay in your mind the so entire mess, time. Messed up your little little mini vacation. Yeah, so that little baby <laughs> moon that y'all don't want is no more. Yeah, it's gone. So Darla is talking to them to him and he's like he's out there, just out there. So he ended up having to tell her what it was that he did. I, Darla, 
I tried, Lord, but I knew it was God, but when I seen you, I knew that was a God. <laughs> he said, you know, the harvest, you know, that yeah, didn't come up, yeah, and it my is. seed is toxic. Yeah, you know, I got to test it and everything. <laughs> and then uh, we up into our eyeballs and dead. Mm. So what I did was, you know, I drove the getaway uh, car. Like, like, you still lying because you didn't, you ain't just only drive, pimp. You, you, you loaded the van up, man. So Darla said, hold on, so hold on. So what you mean to tell me is, you purposely lied. And not once, several times, because I took and told you and asked you, <laughs> what is it and what is going on? And you made me believe and made me feel like I was invalid in my feelings of being scared yep. and being concerned for you. And the whole time you mean to sit here and tell me that I was right? Like, I, 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 I peeped this. So then, Uber East, DoorDash, Posh, whoever oh. the hell it is, Postmates, they knocked on the door. They and both they of them. thought it was the police. And Dollar says, so this is what life is going to be about. Living in constant fear now because you don't went out there and did something wrong. So every time somebody knocks on the door, you think that somebody coming to pick you up. Is this what our life has ended up being? I said, damn, you sure right about that one because this is, this, is, this is bad. Yeah, yeah. And it's already, they already in some skit when you're going to talk about Noah. So they already in some skit with the police and with, with the Landry's. Yeah. So we saw from the freaking previews that it's about ready to get, get real with that situation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to the point where Wood was hollering that round. I was like, no, I ain't never seen Wood hollering that round. Nope. <laughs> so let's talk about Micah. So Micah is um, still really good friends with Isaiah. And him and Isaiah are really like connected like they on some bro code, whatever. And I told y'all, I'll be like, what, what's about to happen with y'all? So they're playing um, a card game and whatnot. Um, well, Micah is, and he has three other people at the table playing this card game. So Isaiah comes up. So then the players started making like references to partners and mm -hmm. being there for your part. Oh, y'all matching suits now. And mm -hmm. oh, you cutting the queen out and all of this stuff. So make it a lot of gay references when it comes to them, them too. But they was here for all yeah, the skits. He, yeah, he, yeah, he was hitting them hard. As quickly as they were trying to <laughs> say stuff, they were reading the hell out. They was like, we, we want to talk about women and how women don't, like women just run from y'all like just like this queen right here, boom, I got them. Just like the ones on campus, boom, they well, run like... Well, when he said even your hairline is running, running from, from you. <laughs> I was like, oh, y'all with this kids. So later on, Charlie ended up being in New Orleans. And, you know, she got a lot going on. She's reflecting on what she should do with Davis, what she should do about this running, because she know it's just going to be up from here but down at the same time. So she stops by the college and she talks to Micah. <clears throat> and Micah was like, you know, this is a oh, pleasant surprise. surprise. Uh -huh. She said, don't <laughs> think that I'm just going to keep on popping up on you. But I really just want to have a little dialogue with you and talk about some things and to let you, you know, know what's about to happen and let me see what your thoughts is on it. So she told him about the, um, about the running and whatnot. And he was like, all like, here for it. I'm good with that. And she was Which like, I knew he was. Yeah, she was like, yeah. you know that this is going to put a lot of pressure on not just me, but you too. So the spotlight's going to be on you. You good with that? And he was like, I'm down for whatever. But then he starts talking about how he's in a better place. Like he feels like the fog is lifting mm -hmm. and so all that of this. meditation is working, Mike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he said, you know, he really thanks his friend Isaiah that, you know, he has someone that he can trust and talk to that can actually just bring him back into his center and whatnot. So he's <clears> really <throat> talking and going on and on. And then he brings up the fact that he doesn't know what Isaiah is. He said, I, I, I feel like maybe he's queer, but that's really not my concern because I don't really give a darn. Yeah. And Charlie was like, so are you... Because you need to know that there's nothing wrong with that if that's who you are. And what we're not going to do is try to rightly divide who we decide that we want to let into our lives based, based on, on that. who they yeah. may be. Because right. if they love you and they're there and they're supportive and they really genuinely have your good, your best interests at heart, who cares what they are? Queer, gay, non-binary. Like, we don't yeah. care. And I don't care what it is that you are. Right. So I felt like this was like... Um, it was beautifully done. 
but at like the same Charlie time, was... I'm like, okay, Micah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you are you about to spit this out? Cause he didn't. Nah, he he not. Nah. But he does know now that if he does, he his mom is fine with it. Yeah, and whatnot. But he was like, he don't care what nobody thinks about Isaiah. That's his friend. That's his brother. He got him. He got him. But he he brought up a good point too. Is like um, what people when two fellas are real close, that's the first thing that, is the first thing. that people think that that's going on, and which is so sad. I know you can't control what other people are thinking. But, but sometimes it'll make you move different because you're yeah. like, oh, I don't want them to think that. Yeah. So, and that's that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, Because yeah. girls... I mean, be, it's, it's like that with y'all, too. I it mean, is, it's, it's, it's more not, with us. Yeah. Yeah, it's more with us. Because it's yeah. accepted with us. Yeah. Like, me and my best friend, like, even we used to do girlfriend's trip. We slept in the same... We slept in the same bed. I can spend my best friends since eighth grade. <laughs> and I'm like, but yeah, that definitely doesn't go the other way around. So I thought it was I, I thought it was beautifully done. I liked it. So let's talk about Nova. Nova decided that she gonna take her a break. Why every time somebody go take a break? So skip, skip break out. Off. Yep. So, they have her eyes shut for five minutes. I said, first of all, <laughs> you knew they was coming because you went to bed in your jumpsuit. Yep. <laughs> in your, how you go to bed in a jean jumper? That's when you know you're tired, though. That's how you know you get when ready. When you tired, when you go to bed with a full full clothes on, man, you tired as hell. No, that's when you ain't living your life right. You got to be up and ready at, at, at just like moment. that. That's how <laughs> like, you know. So she laid in the bed and closed her eyes and her door bow. Police don't came in there talking about something. They got a warrant because they got a heads up that she got yeah, narcotics, narcotics in the house. I promise you, I think that they were inside Nova's house for at least hour. An yeah. hour to two hours. Yeah. And they're going through and the police officer's like, how can you afford this house? And she was so like, go with this I do speaking engagements. I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, I got over two <laughs> I'm million impressions on my website every single month. I'm and on he, and popping. He was like, oh, so you you a professional starter? That's what you do? He was like, yeah, it's just a whole bunch of, uh, um, what, what do you call it? Like, not political g garbage. It was something, Pretty yeah. Pretty much a whole lot of um BS that they wanted to kick around and toss around. So eventually the neighbor came and was like, hold on, what the heck is going on over here? Police officers don't pull the gun out on him. Yeah, like, I like my brother. Yeah, they didn't even phase him. It's like, he was yeah. like, oh no. So they got both of them on the ground and he's talking Nova through it and was like, relax. Don't give Look them at me. the power. Wow. Yeah, we good. We all right. We real good. And I was like, Nova, relax your eyes. Uh-huh. Because she be. I said, if I see this one more time. <laughs> so... Eventually, they came out there with a sandwich bag of parsley. Mm. That was the greenest weed I've ever I've seen, seen in my, my life. It looked yeah. like spinach. <laughs> so they come, oh, we found it. Yeah, because you just took it off her stove. Yeah, <laughs> right. So they locked her up. So the next thing we know, and I said, so ain't nobody called Charlie? Because an old boy was like, you need me to call anybody? Let them know where you are? And know the whole time. Exactly. <laughs> Say something! <laughs> Tell, tell her to call your sister. Somebody. Golly. Just... I can't. Lord have mercy. So she's at the jail and she's sitting in the interrogation room. And the cop comes in. You ready to talk? So she's praying the whole time. God cover me. Cover me. God give me the wisdom. Give me this. Give me that. So according to her, this has been about the 16th, 11th time that he done came in here. And she said, let me let me go ahead and tell you something right here. Mm -hmm. What you found in my house. That Holy Ghost power kicked in. Qualifies as a misdemeanor. Which at best would have gotten me a ticket. Right. And a fine. Yep. So this right here ain't nothing but some interrogation and a scare tactic. Right. So, and wasted taxpayers money. Because every hour that you keep me in here is another hour that I'm going to sue the hell out of you all. So I really suggest that this moment, you go ahead and let me go. And yes, I am ready to go home. And she said, and furthermore, where you found the weed is at is the same um, place that um, my medical, medical marijuana, marijuana card is. is. So, but I know you saw that. So, am I free to go? Now, no, she said, now let, let me, me go. go. He was like, but when Nova, when, when uh, Nova was praying... 
it made me think. I, I, let me know if y'all been here. The first time you was asked to worship lead at your church, you out there praying, Lord, give me the use words. me, give me the words, you, Lord. And you get up there, praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> Go crazy. That's if you're from a spirit field church. Yeah. <laughs> if you're from the Baptist church, you don't even know what a worship leader but is. Some, but some of them Baptist churches. Some of them Baptist churches get it. Uh huh. But yeah, so this did I miss anything? I felt like it was so much going on. I think I think that was pretty that was pretty much yeah, pretty much. I think yeah. that was, so we don't know where Celine is. Celeste Celine, whatever the hell her name yeah, is. Yeah, she's on the run. She's on the run. We got Ralph Angel get ready to come on back home. I wish I wish food. they would give us an update on Blue. They'll send him to DC and just kinda like Yeah. Right. Yeah, he just yeah. He listen he, he listening to Go Go now. He alright. Yeah, but we at least need to see him on Zoom at least once. Nah, leave the baby out of it because he, <laughs> he, he he doing fine. But I think I think y'all was saying that maybe he might be being written off of the show. That's why we probably not see him. Uh huh. But I don't know. I'm he just... has some other things going on. Uh -huh. I do know that. But Blue stays home, just like Kenya stays home. Somebody said in the comments that um Dollar gonna name that baby Kenya. <laughs> she probably will. Just, I'm not gonna go with straight from the VA. <laughs> the dirty, dirty sound. Too up, too down. 